Rafael Julia Jr. worries about his aging father in Puerto Rico, who is battling cancer and whose home has no electricity. He's using a generator to power his oxygen machine. Julia faces two challenges first, he must find an affordable plane ticket for his father to escape the island that was hit hard by Hurricane Maria. Perhaps even more difficult, Julia must also persuade the 78-year-old, stubborn and resolute, to get on a plane and leave the island where he has always lived. I'm fighting with him, said Julia, a Lake Nona resident who works in sales and marketing for a Hispanic food wholesaler. My wife and I and my kids, we're pushing hard. We have the house ready to welcome him. Many Puerto Ricans living in the Orlando area are filled with worry as they try to reconnect with family members back home after Hurricane Maria destroyed the island. But it's difficult. Inside San Juan's major airport, some passengers are stranded as the Federal Aviation Administration prioritizes and decides how many commercial flights are allowed to operate. The FAA said Tuesday about 36 flights are flying in and out every hour, which is almost back to normal. Those flights include a mix of military, commercial and humanitarian flights carrying supplies. Some U.S. airline carriers advertise ticket prices that cost well beyond $1,000 and many, including Julia, expressed outrage. I cannot believe how a company can do that to people who are suffering, Julia said. I have no words in English to express how angry I am. Pop singer Ricky Martin posted a photo of American Airlines prices topped at $1,501 and $2,249 for a round-trip flight from San Juan to Miami, which is typically a three-hour flight. This is not right, Martin wrote Monday on social media in all capital letters. We are in the middle of a humanitarian crisis. For flights further into October, American Airlines prices dip down. For instance, a round-trip ticket to Orlando from Puerto Rico on October 7 was advertised at $309 Tuesday morning. The Florida Attorney General's office has received 12 complaints in connection with the Puerto Rican airline prices, a spokeswoman said Tuesday, but had no details. U.S. Department of Transportation, which handles airline consumer complaints, also received complaints after the hurricane, but a spokeswoman did not say how many. The price jumps for the earlier flights didn't surprise George Habica, who founded the flight booking site herfairwitchdog.com. They always are going to have higher fares closer to travel, Habica said. When asked why some tickets cost more than $1,000, an American Airlines spokesman declined to comment. Americans' $99 cap covers main cabin seats and $199 for premium cabin seats through October 8 on nonstop routes, the airline said. JetBlue Airways capped prices for direct one-way flights in and out of Puerto Rico to the mainland for $135 through October 31, a spokesman said. Regularly waking up in the middle of the night, Jeanette River allows worries about her 72-year-old mother, whose health scares come unexpectedly and often. Her ailments include diabetes, a surgically repaired back and high blood pressure. Her mother is safe for the moment her house is undamaged by the hurricanes, and there is food to eat. But if something happens, River Alals wants her mother in Orlando with her, and easier access to medical care. But the plane tickets are so high to leave Puerto Rico, River Alals can't afford them on a whim. I don't have a choice. I have to wait, said River Alals, executive director of a public relations firm, and a former Orlando Sentinel reporter, as she looked to buy a later flight for her parents. She is stressed, she said, but I think every Puerto Rican in this town is. Rafael Julia Sr. is pictured with his family. His son, who works in sales and marketing for a Hispanic food wholesaler and lives in Lake Nona, is trying to convince him to leave Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Contributed family photo Meanwhile, Julia and his three siblings keep persuading their father to leave Puerto Rico, to no avail. His father, Rafael Julia Sr., is a tough man. He grew up from humble beginnings to become a marketing director at a pharmaceutical company without a formal college education. He already battled cancer once. And now the elder Julia refuses to leave because he fears becoming a burden for his adult children on the mainland. When he takes a position, that's his final position, his son said. The younger Julia feels desperate. His final idea is to call his father's doctor, a friend, to ask him to make one last-ditch plea to leave the island. This is not looking good, Julia said Tuesday. 
got a news tip Gresson at OrlandoSentinel.com or 4,074,205,470 Twitter at Gabrielle Russin caption 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 how I watched Hurricane Maria terrorize my home from a distance.